Hello, my name is Anna Blanca. And I'm Sage. Welcome back to the Addictive Wellness Channel. Today we are going to do something that I have been really, really excited about. Guys, this is the best vegan ice cream you've ever had. Because, you know, they say nice cream and then everybody uses frozen banana. No, oh, don't tell me about these bananas. Too much <laughs> with the bananas already. I know, right? But what we are using is, a, oh my god, look, there is a ladybug on our light. And actually, it's a very interesting. So even thing. ladybugs love Chirmoy ice cream. I don't know. We live on the 12th floor, and we have a visitor, so she she would want to say hello to you guys. I'm sure. Actually, one more thing. I didn't grab the actual Chirmoy. Would you bring it from the freezer? Do you mind? I would bring. Yes, you would bring. In the meantime, I'm going to say a couple of things about Chirmoy. I really love the writer Mark Twain, and he said that this is the most delicious fruit known to man. It doesn't look much if you look at it, it has this thick scale, but inside is really, really, it deserves the name, its other name, custard apple, because it is like custard. It has these big seeds. It's like, a, it's, a, it's a cross between vanilla cream and custard. It's really amazing. I know, it's unbelievable. It takes a while to actually get the big seeds out, but once you have it and put it into ice tray and freeze it up, guys, if you make it into a vegan ice cream, you can thank us later. It's gonna, gonna love it. This is, this is, is an ice cream to blow minds. Exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. So there's these big enough. black seeds in there. You got it. Takes a bit of work, as she said, to get them out and get it into the ice tray. But it's worth the trouble. And it's gonna look like this when you get it out. Hello, ladybug. And then um, just gonna put it into the bottom of this. Blender. Vita makes it actually a very good one because you get a plunger with it. There you go. Oh, oh my God! It smells amazing too. Go okay, so well, this is going to be pretty simple and straightforward. Super First, simple, we're going to put lucuma, um, another South American fruit that's going to help cream this up even a little bit more. Actually, speaking of South American, Cherry Maya originally is from South America. Apparently, we really like things from Ecuador, right? Yep, and oh, one other good thing to mention about Cherimoya is it contains GABA, gamma aminobutyric acid. It's a, a kind of like an antidepressive, mood enhancing um, amino acid, and it's and so it's, it's really cool. Yeah, okay. it make you nice and happy. So, what did you put in top? It was. Uh, we got lukuma. We got lukuma, great. Now we have astragalus. Uh, this is oh, jumping yes. over to the Chinese herb world. Um, Astragalus has a very gentle and light flavor, so it's going to go in here really easily, help our own natural energy production. Yeah, I think it's the simplest ice cream we ever made. In. And what is that? That's um, organic sunflower lecithin. So you want to make sure your lecithin is certified organic, right? Because then it's not going to have uh, residues of chemical solvents left over. Most sunflower lecithins um, will have hexane residues left in them. It's like nail polish remover. It's not your favorite super No, food. no, no, but this one, I can lick this. It's, yeah. it's, it's addictive and it's approved. Well, the, I mean, you wouldn't want to lick it. The lecithin on its own doesn't really taste. Like Actually, I, I mix it in the evening in my, before I take my supplements, you know, kinds of stuff. And our lecithin is like, just makes things creamy. It's really nice, yeah. actually. No, like te it. Texture-wise, it's, it's wonderful. All right, so in the next one, it's... Uh, Here we have C8, uh, which is a special kind of MCT oil. That's going to give this some fat and, and also give us the ability to burn some energy, not just from the glucose and things like that in here, but also from some healthy fats. Nice. And we're going to sweeten it up with some stevia. You don't need much stevia because... Because uh, it's already quite sweet, so we but, don't need to... But using a bit of like a, a butterscotch flavor with stevia can really still help make this even better than it already is. I don't like things way too sweet, so I would probably don't put any in there. Right. But, you know... We're gonna make a fantastic ice cream. Okay, let's go and blend it up. Okay, here we let's go. We're try. gonna get the top of the blender on this, pound it up, and we'll be back with some cherry and white ice cream magic. 